Wally Bear and the No Gang. Now the first thing that baffles me about this game is the actual cartridge. I mean look at this. It doesn't look like any other NES game. And what's this button for? Press here? Seriously? Press here? What for? I mean is it supposed to be telling you how to push the game down? Like how to put the game into the system? Well I, I can't really push on it when it's inside the Nintendo. You know, do they really think kids are that stupid? I mean, it should just say, press here, you dumb fuck. Like, some kid's gonna be like, uh, uh, how do I put the game in? So anyway, we start off with the title screen of a deformed bear with sunglasses riding a skateboard. A stereotypical anti-drug corporate waste of imagination. You can choose between one and two players, if you're lucky enough to have a friend who would actually play this piece of shit with you. Okay, here's the plot. You're the ultra-hip skateboarding schmuck Wally Bear. Your Uncle Gary Grizzly wants you to gather up your straight-edge friends and head over to his house for a party. Wally must reach his uncle's house before dark, or at least before the timer runs out, for he loses all his lives. But every bird and attack dog on the block wants you dead, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that besides just jump for your life. You can get items like pizzas, frisbees, or hubcaps to throw at enemies. And you can't really hit birds because they just dart across the screen. Now why would a bird want to kill a skateboarding bear anyway? The levels are just incredibly repetitive. Like literally, the same backgrounds are used over and over again, kind of like in a Flintstones cartoon. If you notice during a driving scene, it's just the same stuff in the background being repeated over and over again. The only difference is that the Flintstones was entertaining, but this, this is just a piece of fuck. There's also this asshole named Ricky the Rat who's trying to knock you off your skateboard and turn you into a heroin junkie. You also have to prevent a poodle from getting her radio stolen, stop a lizard from drunk driving, and deal with other things that either want you to die or want you to snort crack up your bear snout. The music in this game just fucking sucks. I mean, no bad game is complete without some auditory shit that makes you want to puke. You'd rather listen to your only infant child choking to death. So, just turn down the volume, and while you're at it, just turn off the fucking game. Back in the 80s, it seemed like there were all these characters trying to keep kids off of drugs. Whether it was Mick Gruff, or Pee Wee, or the combined efforts of Alf, Michelangelo, Bugs Bunny, and Miss Piggy. And this game, I'm sure it didn't help kids stay off drugs at all. In fact, I'm sure the people who made it were on something. So avoid it at all costs, unless you are fucked up on drugs. So in that case, let's say no to drugs, and let's say no to this fucking game. It has just come to my attention that there is a Wally Bear hotline, 1-800-HIGH-WALLY. Now, you wouldn't think that after like 20 years, that number would still be functional, but somewhere in some old dusty basement, Wally Bear still lives. Hello, 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 friend. Hey, Wally Bear. Thanks for calling me on my special Wally Bear hotline. I'm here at the National Clearing House for Alcohol and Drug Information in Rockville, Maryland. And guess what? I can send you lots of information and fun stuff about how to keep yourself safe from drugs. It's all free, and it's as easy as one, two, three, and that's pretty easy. All you have to know is just a that. It's creeping me out. It's like listening to a ghost. 